Hey there guys, welcome back. Let's see ternary operator in Python. What is ternary operator? Ternary operator in other languages consists of colon and question mark. But in Python, it consists of keywords if and else, making it more readable. The ternary operator in Python is used to return a value based on the result of a binary condition. It looks similar to an if else condition block but it also returns a value, so behaving similar to a function. Although it is neither if else condition block nor a function. Okay, now let's see what it is used for. Ternary operator is often used as a replacement of if else, where we have one line statement after the condition being true or false. There we can use ternary operator. The syntax of ternary operator in other languages is condition question mark statement 1 colon statement 2 here first condition is checked and then if condition is true then statement 1 is executed and if the condition is false then statement 2 is executed in python the syntax of ternary operator includes if else it is statement on true if keyword condition then else keyword and then statement on false so here we first write the statement to be executed when the condition is true then we check the condition that is if condition then we write else and then we write the statement to be executed when the condition is false okay so does it make sense Look, if we see the syntax, then it is do this if this expression returns true, else do this if this expression returns false. Okay, let's see some examples to make it more clear. Making new example i.py. Firstly, we'll see using if else blocks and then the same code using ternary operator. Okay, so I'll write if 5 is greater than 2, colon print yes else print no so here we have a simple if else block let's run see our condition is true so yes is printed okay so i don't think it needs to be explained i'll write the same code but this time using ternary operator so let's refer to the syntax it is on true if condition else on false so here what we have to do when our condition is true we have to print yes so i will write print yes now we have to write the keyword if so if then condition our condition is 5 greater than 2 and then keyword else and now what we have to do if our condition is false we have to print no so print no and now running i.py see here we are getting yes we have print yes if 5 is greater than 2 else print no so here the statement itself is making sense okay see python allows us to write four lines of code in one line this is the beauty of python okay here instead of writing print two times we can write whole statement inside print function what i mean here is we can write print in string yes if 5 greater than 2 else no inside string here we have further reduced our code so this is also legal okay so let's see running this example see yes is printed okay let's see some more examples on ternary operator new example j.py here we have to take any number from console and we have to print whether the number is odd or even so pause the video and try it yourself okay so here's the solution let's take the input first let's say x equal to int input and enter any number 
now firstly we'll use if else blocks okay so what is the condition for a number to be even and odd if the number is evenly divisible by 2 then that number is even otherwise odd okay so i told you about modulus operator here we will use modulus operator if x mod 2 equal to 0 then print x is even else if x is not evenly divisible by 2 then it is odd so print x is odd see this code is same as the previous one just condition is changed so let's run okay enter any number let's enter 44 44 is even okay so we are getting the correct output now let's rewrite the code using ternary operator see here first we have to write the statement which has to be executed if the condition is true here we have print even so we'll write print even now if keyword then condition our condition is x mod 2 equal to 0 else print odd okay makes sense so let's see running j.py enter n number 89 odd okay so we are getting the correct output and how can we shrink our code further we will write print even if x mod 2 equal to 0 else odd okay so let's check it is correct or not running j.py enter any number let's say 90 even okay it is running fine now here's a small task for you you have to take two numbers from console and you have to tell which number is smaller and which number is greater and you have to do this using ternary operator okay and the second task is take input of age of three people by user and determine oldest and youngest among them okay so try these problems these are super easy and we'll see dictionary in the next video so see you there bye bye